Puppeteering Saga Press start button So a game from 2001 It's a mix between an RPG or role-playing game and a strategy game It's developed by the same guy that developed the first five Dragon Quest games so This is a demo because I didn't click on the start button in time You can see that it's an old school strategy game It's really cool. I played a bit in this game a few months back and I tried out a bunch of games. It's a PlayStation 1 game. It's uh, made after Dragon Quest 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 5 for the Nintendo and Super Nintendo consoles. Uh, so this was for the PlayStation and made by the same guy that developed other games. It had clear connections to the Dragon Quest games but had to remove them because of a conflict between the developer and uh, Nintendo of copyright. I believe he was sued by Nintendo but he won the... I believe he lost it and had to pay them a bunch of money but he still was allowed to release the game. Uh, he just had to remove any uh, like uh, connections to Dragon Quest and he had to pay them a bit money. But it's really cool battles you see the game like this and I played quite a bit in this game I must have played for at least three hours straight or more we'll see um, we need to I don't know why the controller isn't working ah I have the wrong controller probably okay we will click Start button. For some reason the controllers are not working. to automatically connect them. Now they work good. Okay. We have versus mode too. Of course we can't play versus mode. I have two controllers but um, I don't think it's possible. Anyway it might be. I have two PS4 controllers now. Didn't have in the past. Okay. A new game or continue. I should continue first to see if there is any game data. No, I must have deleted the saved game. That's weird though, because I had a save. I had played for about three hours. This makes me worried that if I play this game now and then save the game and then it won't be saved it's a risk alright let's start the game I want to replay what I played a few months back in the center of the great Marathon ocean lies the vast continent of Liberia in ages past its people suffered under the rule of the tyrannical god Xerxel but 8 centuries ago a young man died to rebel against him this young man's name was Sarlon with the help of the goddess Utona, he overthrew Gergsel's dark empire and established a new one of peace. Carlelon and Utona were wed, and after his passing, his empire was divided among the daughters in four kingdoms. He bearing the name of his holy queen, Reeve, the serene o oasis of the east, uh, Canaan, the great mountains of the north, Lada, the blah blah blah. I won't be able to read this. You will have to read for yourself. I'm not an English speaker. English is my second language, so I have a problem. Speaking as fast as the text is moving, you know, the problem. One mistake and then they end up uh, behind. So yeah. Of course if I uh, really tried I could do it, but... Nah, there is too much of a risk that I will end up behind. Yeah, it's a good story. It has a really nice story. And the uh, characters, every character except the, the two main characters can die in the game. And you won't 
get them back, but they can also survive if you manage to play it correctly. Runen, there you are. What's the matter? You look a little spaced out. Oh, Holmes. It's nothing. I was just getting some fresh air. If you say so. Anyway, you're almost at Velt. Are you and your knights ready to go? As long as I have my rep here, I'll be fine. Eugen is taking care of the others. Sure wouldn't want to be one of Rezella's knights. How do they stand uh, that old geese are yabbering at them all the time? Look up at them, more or less. After so much fighting against the Empire, all that's left of the Resilient Knights are young recruits like them, save Yugen. Yugen went through hell to protect us, and now he can't even swing a sword anymore after all the wounds he's suffered. The young knights all understand his pain, so they're doing what they can to repay him. You're right, he has been dependable. Without Yugen and my old man, we all would have died a long time ago. And these two are the main characters, by the way. So it's kind of sad that young guys like us had to be saved by a pair of, shall we say, senior citizens. I've been meaning to ask you, Holmes. Are we really doing the right thing? Your father told us to escape while he and his men held off the Imperial Army. Do we deserve to survive if we had to sacrifice him and get away? Don't beat yourself up about it, Runan. It was his choice. Hell, he might not even be dead. He's always been a tenacious little rat. I do hope you're right. We'll pray for Admiral Val's safety. Come on, Runan. It's not like you to be so sentimental. My old man didn't do this for you or even for me. He just wanted to stay and fight for what he believed in. When the time comes for us to retake Granada, we'll see him again. I promise you that. Ha, I'll, ho I'll hold you to it. Thanks, Holmes. Nah, I forget about my old man. This is actually a pretty exciting, isn't it? I've always dreamed of traveling the world as an adventurer and seeking out legends. Now that my old man let me go, I can make that dream come true. An adventurer? That sounds like fun. Yep. I'm gonna gather up some expert thieves and knowledgeable fo folks will go on all sorts of crazy expeditions. I believe if we play as this guy, he's free to move on different uh, to different locations. You can move him freely, him and his team. And the other team under uh, Runan will be following a strict storyline and we won't be able to choose where he will go. So we will fight as Runan and his team a bunch of missions and uh, a bit of the story and then we will face off against uh, some enemies and uh, after a while we will meet up with this guy again and uh, he will then allow us to either go with him or go with the other guy and uh, then we can play both of course but they have different teams and we can uh, choose uh, what soldiers and heroes we want to send with each of them the ones that we send with Runa and the other guy, they will uh, follow the story, story of the game, the strict story that is very linear. And then this guy will be more of a, you can do whatever you want, you can go there, you can go to a different place, and you, you have more free to move around with him. So you have one group that is free and one group that is very linear, as far as I understand it. I didn't play as this guy played until I got the choice to send troops with him. Uh, so I played a bunch of episodes with Rune and the other guy. Okay. Say Runan, why don't you come with me? Aren't you sick of this useless war by now? Holmes, you know I can't do that. Don't act so serious, buddy. I was only joking around. You know you got obligations. Your dad left you quite a responsibility. Yeah. Someday, I'd like to. Lord Runan, forgive my interruption, but the ire, ire of Velt has been sighted. Ah, so it has. No more time to be shooting the breeze, eh? Okay, Runan. I'll drop you off at Port Saura. 
Vårt vält isn't too far from there. Thank you, Holmes. Get everyone ready to depart, Eugen. Yes, my lord. Port Saura. That's wonderful music, by the way. This is Port Saura, and, and I believe the graphics are better than in the Dragon Quest 1 to 5 game, so this is like an of unofficial Dragon Quest 6, pretty much. By the same creator. Just that Nintendo didn't like that he made a game for the PlayStation, the arrival. So, so they sued him, so he had to remove any direct uh, connection to the Dragon Quest game, as I said, but, but but it plays exactly like a Dragon Quest game. It has similar art style and similar battles, better graphics, etc. Because the PlayStation is more recent than the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo. Okay, this is Port Saura. For the doorway to a large kingdom like Velt, it's very quiet. Well, my lord, we cannot blame them for being intimidated by the sight of a pirate ship like this. Holmes, you should leave it at once. It would not do for Lord Runan to be mistaken for an outlaw like yourself. Yeah, yeah, we're going. As if I'd stick around just to get yelled at by an old man like you. Yeah, I believe that Runan is... Um, an important uh, aristocratic character and this guy is a thief. They are best friends. So I assume you're off to Isura. Yeah, that island is out of the Empire's reach. We'll drive out the pirates there and make it our new base. Will you be alright on your own? Don't worry about us. Hunting down pirates is our job. One glimpse of the sea lion's flag and they'll be ru running as fast as they can. I'm more worried about you, Runan. Uh, by, the, by the way, I said Dragon Quest. I didn't mean Dragon Quest, I meant Fire Emblem. So the, the creator of the Fire Emblem games made this game too. And the Fire Emblem games are uh, like Japanese uh, role-playing strategy games. A mix between strategy and role-playing game. Uh, that were released for the Nintendo 8-bit system and the Super Nintendo. And there were five games. And then he left Nintendo and made this game. And this game is uh, very very similar. With better graphics and a, a unique story, unique characters. Same art style. Anime styled. But any direct, uh, like, uh, I don't... There, there were a lot of callbacks to, to Fire Emblem that he was supposed to remove, I believe. Okay. I'm more worried about you, Runan. Your knights are all greenhorns, except for that old fossil, the Jugen. I know, I'll lend you one of my men. Garrow, get over here. I got it, boss. So anyone but the main characters can die in a battle, and then you won't get him back. But you can also uh, uh, win the battle and uh, prevent him from dying. And there are many characters that join your party, and uh, when they survive long enough then, the, then they can get extra story bits because they are still alive so they have unique story bits depending on the character uh, and if he dies or she dies then, then you won't get that story but if you keep the character alive by winning battles then, then he will get more story so uh, you are rewarded with more story for the character if you can manage to keep him alive and if he dies, of course, then, he, then he's dead, so you won't get the rest of his story. Okay, but, but the main character is not allowed to die. I believe that the two main characters, Runan and that other guy, the pirate. Okay, okay. I got it, boss. You want me to lend a hand, right? That's right. Consider him your temporary captain. Thanks, Holmes. Ah, Runan and Holmes, they are the main characters. They are not allowed to die. Everyone else uh, are allowed to die, pretty much. Uh, thanks, Holmes, and thank you, Garrow. Well, suppose it's bye for now, Runan. May the sea breeze bless you, your journey. Same to you, Holmes. I don't remember if I actually read all the story when I played it last time. I just skipped through the, the story. Uh, but the battles up until a certain point, and I really enjoyed the music and the battles.
Ah, I remember this one. This was the first stage. We'll have a quite difficult battle here, I believe. Eugen, do you believe that the kingdom of wealth will be sympathetic to our cause? It's hard to say, my lord. The last time Vel tried to aid Reeve at the Battle of Balt, they suffered tremendous casualties. I hear that King Raphael has been missing in action ever since. And by the way, I have never played the Fire Emblem games uh, before. Try the follow-up to this game for the PlayStation 2, it's also really cool and good. But I, of course I want to play this one first. Played a little bit in the follow-up, I believe 30 minutes or 25 minutes. I played uh, at least three hours of this game and I'm shocked that I do not have the save game. I don't know what happened with my save. So that makes me worried that I will save now and then I will lose it so I can't continue. Anyway, uh, I hear that King Raphael has been missing in action ever since. So, so this game is really cool. It's the first game that I ever played this style that mixes roleplay and strategy and I'm, I'm a 90s guy but I kind of had never played this type of game before but I thought it was cool I like anime and manga and such and so I like the style and, and I also like roleplay games and strategy games and also I like that you can survive uh, with characters and get additional story and such and I like the graphics in, in battle. Okay. <laughs> so, so it's really interesting. <clears throat> Convincing the queen to assist us with her kingdom in its current state will certainly be no easy task. For now, we should assume that Velt will be unwilling to provide us aid. In that case, we should do what we can to get into the queen's good graces. <clears throat> Our first course of action should be to get a grasp of what exactly the situation is here in Velt. Agreed, my lord. We can gather information from the citizens here in Port Saura. Make it so. I want all troops to ask around and gather whatever information you can. After that, we'll head for Fort Velt to meet with Queen Lisa. Yes, Lord Runan. Leave it to us, my lord. Hey, aye, sir. Now comes the enemy. No, those are allies that we can get. Lady Sasha, the enemy is gaining on us. We must make haste. Ah, I remember we need to save this girl and, and the, the one she's protecting. She's like a friend of a princess, I believe, and the princess is the one we need to save. Uh, both of them will join the team and we can then try to prevent them from dying fail I believe I believe uh, the princess survived of course she's important but uh, this girl I failed to keep alive <clears throat> if the enemy is gaining on us we must take make haste huff huff Kate I I can't I can't go another step you mustn't talk like that my lady you're almost too very please just a little further but a leg Oh, your highness, your ankle's been sprained. To think that you've been putting weight on it, on it this entire time. Forgive me, my lady. Should have noticed sooner. Kate, we shall stay here and hold off our pursuers. Try to make it as far as Port Sora. If you can hide yourself and rest in a lodge overnight, the pain should subside somewhat. Then you can continue toward Veria in the morning. You must press on, with or without me. Oh Kate, can't abandon you here. Don't fear for me, your highness. I am your guardian and a trained knight. The likes of Koda's soldiers are no match for me. You are indeed a fine knight, Kate. But there's no way you could win against so many soldiers. I know, my lady. But I must protect you, no matter the cost. That is my duty, no, my privilege as your knight. No, I won't abandon you, Kate. Please, I can make it to Saura. We'll go together, alright? Lady Sasha. Player turn one. 
right, we have our heroes here, and then we have these guys. I think we can control them already. No, we can't. Maybe we can. It's been a while since I played. I might not remember exactly how I played. Maybe I couldn't move those. Animations, default, all. All, of course. Items, trade. Don't want. Uh, fuck that. Uh, okay. We can visit or we can wait. We'll visit. House. Chancellor Coda is nothing compared to Count Marilyn. He's the lord of the eastern country of Veria. He's as loyal as they come. In fact, most everyone agrees that Count Marilyn was more suited to be Chancellor than Count Coda ever was. I just don't get why the Queen would appoint Coda instead. It's like the royals all have their heads buried in the sand. It's hard enough just to make ends meet without their bad decisions ruining our lives. It's typical. Why don't you guys try stirring up things here? It'd be nice to see Coda gone. Here, you can have this. My ex gave it to me. And I don't want her to find out that I still have it. But, well... I don't really have a heart. I re don't really have the heart to just throw it out either. It'd be a real load of, off my mind if you could just take it. Miracle charm obtained, nice. So this is the heir to Resalia, Resilia, Runen. Health points 22 out of 22, Lord level 2. Okay. Attack 11, range 1, hit 118. Critical 9 out of 4, defense 4 out of 9. Okay. Runen. Not moving any anymore this time. Is it his home too? You're one of those heroes of Granada, are you? <coughs> I'd be wondering what kind of fearsome mean. Uh, I'd be wondering what kind of fearsome men had managed to hold off the Imperial Army for an entire year. But you're just a bunch of kids. Oh well. Well, never mind that. Came all this way, so here you go. You can have this herb. Herb obtained. I believe in the when I played this the last time I didn't enter the houses. I did a mistake there. We'll enter here too. Welcome to my naval academy. Here, I train soldiers in the art of fighting on the high seas. Pirates are everywhere these days, so knowing how to fight at the sea is a must-have. If you're gonna be sailing through the Sea of Sinai. Wait, you're already a fine seafarer. I can't teach you anything. If you have any friends who wish to learn the art of seafaring, then sign them up. I'll be happy to train them. Let's visit. <coughs> you know that big ship that sailed in not too long ago? I think it was one of Granada's privateering galleys. Wait, you guys were on that thing. Who are you people? There, look, I don't care why you came all this way, the way here. But please don't cause any trouble, okay? You got enough problems as it is. Oh, this thing. It's medicine, I think. I found it down at docks. Don't know what it's for. If you want it, be my guest. Master potion obtained. Nice. So I failed it. Taking any of the items the last time. Can't move this, okay. Can 
additions. Runans arm, army scores, general sikt 8, gold 5000. Okej. Okay. Enemy units are not present yet. Settings, animation, should be all. Cursor, stop at limit, move freely. Moment cursor, stop at limit, move freely. Can have Japanese or English voices. I mean uh, text stats comparison. Unit info parameter display English or Japanese. Cut up to them. Russ, I leave the rest to you. Capture the princess and bring her back to my castle. What of her escort, sire? Get rid of her, I don't care. Don't bother me with useless details. Understood, sire. Okay, we'll move. Uh and here and visit this place too. The drawbridge to the south is raised and lowered and the tide changes. If it's not done yet, it should be soon enough. Wait right there. Oh, they can this man too. This is cool. There. Still probably can't move these guys. No. Let's uh, end the turn. <coughs> Enemy turn two. Similar to <coughs> Total War games in, in terms of having like an, a world map and then click end turn and battles uh, are like previewed in a different screen. Don't know how to move down there. Move this guy here. Armor. Welcome to the armory. Here we can buy stuff and sell stuff. Here's what we've got to offer. Slim sword, a tin lightweight sword, a slim lance. And the guy we have here is Craze. He has an iron sword and a javelin. I don't know. They are better, these. And anything else you want to buy? Yes. Um, not really. Unless we could... Uh, it's not a weapon made for you, but do you still want it? Might be worth it. Uh. 
Sorry, but your hands are full. Anything else you want to buy? Ah, uh, fuck that. We will skip it then. We need to move the others there to buy the rest of the stuff. Okay. I had a lot of gold. 4,040. Vendor, let's go there. It ruined himself. Hello, welcome to my shop. What, should you, what would you like? Herb or leather shield? I think we'll go for the leather shield. Yes, I want the leather shield. We we'll also go for a herb. We are almost broke now, we have 848 gold. Now we will exit. Leaving so soon, oh well, come again. Check that area, that area, and that area. I don't know if we checked all the areas. I don't remember how to open the bridge. We would probably go there, visit the place. Hello, all of. The countries on the mainland have fallen under imperial rule. However, I doubt the empire would bother coming all the way out here to Welt. Our tiny kingdom is hardly a threat to the emperor's army. And our king Raphael led his knights to Fort Balt earlier this year. No one even found uh, what was left of his body. <coughs> he was such a fine king. It's terrible that his kindness cost him his life. Welt is finished without him. I hate to say it, but I doubt Queen Lisa or Princess Sasha can pull our nation through these troubled times. Oh, sorry about that. I've been very patient to sit through this old man's depressing rambling, ramblings. Here, take this sword as a token of my gratitude. Maybe a run of the mill, but its edge hasn't dulled since the days that I used it. Not one bit. Nice, we got the sword. Iron sword obtained. So I missed out on a lot of good equipment by not visiting the houses previously. So it was more difficult, now it will be easier. Okay, we have already been there. And visit this place. Well, it used to be such a peaceful kingdom, but all that changed a few months back. And the Ravens were pushed back to Granada. King Raphael went to the mainland to aid in the Battle of Balt. But the battle was lost, and no one's heard news of him since. Coda, the Count of Graham, was appointed Chancellor in the King's absence. But he's made a complete mess of things, draining the, this great town of all the life it once had. He's made the tariffs on all imports and exports so high, no one can afford to trade. Not to mention when his troops came through and conducted an emergency tax, seizing all kinds of valuables. There's no way we can survive if this goes on. Only our good king is here with us. Ah, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be acting so gloomy in front of such kind visitors. This isn't much of a way to apologize, but here, just take this shield. It was my late father's. It's all I have left of him. I'd be much happier to see it used by good knights like you and gather dust on my mantle. I'm sure my father would agree. Got another so shield. Nice. We have moved everyone, so we need to end the turn. End my turn 3. I also like that the music changes when the enemy moves. Jesus, they're almost pawn now. Their cavalry. Wait there. Wait. I don't remember how to open the fucking bridge there. Worried that she will die. Don't 
Bridge has been lowered, Lord Runan. Let us be off. <coughs> yes, we'll move straight to Princess Sasha. Speak to her. Characters can speak to each other when they are next to each other too. It's very cool. What's going on here? Are those soldiers chasing you? Ah, uh, Lord Runan, this is not the time for conversation must protect her from those soldiers. Got it. We'll deal with your pursuers. So in the meantime, hide someplace safe. You can't tell us what's going on after you can tell us what's going on afterwards. Y yes. Foreign knights. Where did they come from? Uh, good question, we'll move the knight to there. Wait. Another one there. Wait. The pirate. Ram will be moved down there. And wait. Now I can move these guys to him. Princess will move into the city. I don't really want this girl to die. We'll move her too. Prefer our male knights and horses fighting. Let's end the turn. Now we get the animation. Really like the sprites in this view. Experience 14. Forgot to add uh, the new gear to the characters. Oh, a crossbow man. He can throw javelins back then. Okay. A turn again. First of all, items. Here, no items. Item, keep the javelin, takes 30 damage, iron sword 50, slim sword 46, slim lance 50. He has all the stuff that I bought, perfect. He should be better. I don't know which one he has equipped. Can use a potion. Javelin, Iron Sword. Lance, Iron Sword. Slim Lance. Yeah, I think that's it. Should we attack or retreat? I think we'll move 
back. Right there. Put this guy there. Right there. now item trade drop you can trade items with these guys to pair 25 slim lands iron sword slim sword Critical zero, range one, bait four, mystery three, uses fifth out of fifty, hit seventy, and uh, might six, critical zero, might three, hit fifty three, this one, tin sword used by nobles, armor, cavalry, rune, and Here, hit 100, might 5, might be better, so I had better might than worse hit points. Yeah, I don't think it will change. And, uh, move this guy over here, attack. Soldier. Good, took him out. Already moved that guy. Sword, this guy, Ruinan will attack. Gain some experience too. Herb obtained, nice. Stand in my way. Look tough. Crossbow man again. Graham Solier, Bowman. Should be very easy now. First of all, we will attack this guy, Russ, again with Runen. So it's possible to disable these battle scenes. 
I used to have everything play out on the map too, but I think that's boring. Ugh, I failed. Took out Russ. I remember this was way more difficult when I played it last time. Because I didn't know anything about the items and such. Okay, we'll move this guy. I'll attack this guy. Uh, with the iron axe. Ram soldier spearman. Good, he was taken out. He attacked two times. This guy. We'll attack with this guy. Use one of the weapons. Ram soldier versus Orcus, the knight. Didn't die to almost. Maybe they got reinforcements or something because I believe it was way more difficult previously. Let's attack this knight now. Second knight, Trace. Alright, done. We have won. Everyone is defeated except their leader. Lord Runan, soldiers are turning tail. Good. Where's that girl we found? She's safe and sound with us. Ah, there she is. <coughs> are you alright? Yes. Thank you very much. You serve well these soldiers, right? Every day after you. You look like someone of noble upbringing. Lord Runan, I thought you recognized her. This is Princess Sasha of Welt. Princess Sasha! I am pleased to see you again, Lord Runan. And I you. I'm sorry I didn't recognize you. Don't worry about it. It's been years since I last saw you. Alto, I recognized your kind eyes. We only met for a short while. You were very kind to me. Much like you were today. <coughs> I was only ten years old when I accompanied my father on his trip to Welt. I recall meeting the young princess, but you changed so much I would never have guessed you were the same girl. Well, I remembered, my lady. Oh, you must be Lord Runan's guardian. Your name was... Eugen. At your service, my lady. Yes, that's right, General Eugen. Thank you for your kindness. Princess Sasha, would you mind telling us what's happening here in Welt? Why is a member of royalty being pursued by her own soldiers? Are you familiar with the Battle of Balt, Lord Runan? Naturally. But half a year back, the Western Alliance united to rescue Reeve from the Empire's clutches, starting with Fort Balt, but they were decimated. I heard from the townspeople here that King Raphael has been missing ever since. Unfortunately, it's true. You haven't heard a word from my father. Most of the brave nobles and knights who accompanied my father were killed. Only a handful managed to return to us. So much of the nobility gone, those who remain have been greedily abusing their power. Without my father to keep them in line, they're running, they're running the country into the ground. <coughs> but even his, ma with his majesty gone, how would wealth be so crippled after a single defeat? Surely your father left contingents in place in case of the battle went poorly. Or at least left someone trustworthy to manage the things while he was off in battle. Yes, of course. Our chancellor was left in charge. He has since fallen ill and passed away. After that, Count Coda of Graham named himself the replacement chancellor. Everything went south after that. Coda has levied absurd taxes on all our people and banished all those who dare to question his authority. He's become nothing sort of a tyrant. What about your mother? Surely the Queen has something to say about all of this. After being made aware of Coda's tyranny, my mother prepared a decree to exile him and appoint Count Marlon as Chancellor in his place. But who is Count Marlon? It's the Count Verrier to the east. 
He was unable to accompany my father to the Battle of Bath due to his age, but he is loyal and honorable, loved by the citizenry and nobility alike. My father always wanted him to be his chancellor, but Count Marlon insisted that he was not worthy of the honor. He still resides in Verrier today. I see. So you were on your way to Verrier to deliver your mother's decree to him? Yes, my mother entrusted her letter to my personal knight, Kate, and told us to flee to Count Marlon's side. All right, I understand. He'll help escort you to Verja. I'd like to meet this Count Marlon myself. I'm happy to hear it, but what are you doing here in Welt? The last I heard, you, you were holding out against Empire in Granada. I'll tell you about it on the way. You should leave here before Koda sends reinforcements after you. Now loading. Music is wonderful. Okay, <clears throat> there's an overmap too, but you can't move freely on it with Runen. Queen Lisa, how, how do you fare? <coughs> <coughs> if there is anything at all I can do for you, please do not hesitate to ask. Count Koda, how long do you intend to keep me confined in this room? Are you not ashamed as one of King Raphael's allegiance? No, no. This is... I have heard rumors that you are planning to form an alliance with Empire. Do you honestly believe that Raphael will allow such foolishness? What sort of excuse do you intend on giving the king when he returns? With all due respect, your majesty, King Raphael was lost to us long ago. As chancellor, it is my duty to protect our nation, is it not? The king is alive. I am his wife, I would know. Count Koda, I ask that you cease your oppression of my people at once. There is still time to repent for your sins. You wound me, your majesty. Generous as I am, I still have my limits. Are you threatening me? And spare yourself the trouble and kill me now. Your name shall be stained forever in history as a filthy traitor. Erg. Count Koda, if you have no further business, then I ask you to leave. I need some rest. Gods be damned. That impudent woman. Perhaps I should kill her off after all. No, my lord. If we harm the queen now, the unaligned nobles will turn against us. The royal family of Welt descends from General Sutherland, the, the Great. Talking and taking any action against them directly would be ruinous. What do you suggest we do then? Queen's hope lies in Count Marlon. If he were lost, she would surely give in to us. Yes, we must eliminate Marlon. Let us make haste. If we take too long, the neutral nobles may side with the Queen anyway. So there's where, yeah. Preparations are complete, father. <coughs> we'll be departing shortly. Paul, Refin. I just received a report from Port Saura. Princess Sasha is safe. She's heading here as we speak. Is that true? I thought she was being pursued by Koda soldiers. <coughs> she was rescued by a group of knights who has landed at Saura. Small band, a few dozen at most, but apparently quite valorous. Knights, could it be the Empire? I don't think so. The report says their ship was flying the flag of Mosa. Mosa? Soldiers from Reeve? Seems that way. Likely resilience, specifically, since their last remaining base at Granada fell only a few weeks ago. That would make them Lord Runan and Lord Holmes, right? Do you think they're seeking asylum? Perhaps. In any case, they are undoubtedly in search of friends here. King Raphael and the late Duke Ramud of Rasilia were like brothers. The king's decision to leave for Balt was likely in part to avenge his fallen friend. I would be surprised if Lord Runan had not come to Velt seeking aid. And will you offer him aid, father? I know his citizens hail him as a hero for holding his own against the Empire, 
But what do you think of him? Maybe brave, but he's still just a boy. Far too young to be called a hero. Citizens are simply projecting that image onto him because their true hero, Duke Grammard, has fallen. So you think the rumors are untrue? Only that they are exaggerated. I have no doubt that Ruinan might one day live up to his father's name. As for whether or not they will aid him, we must first deal with our own troubles before we can assist Reeves. Regardless, we must thank him and his knights for rescuing the princess. Raffin, go to the castle gate and prepare to greet him. They deserve a proper welcome. Yes, father. May I, may I accompany you, brother? Or would just I be in the way? What do you mean, Esther? Well, it's been a long time since you let last met the princess. I perhaps thought that you might prefer some time to yourselves. Don't be absurd. I have sworn loyalty to that princess as a knight of wealth. That's all there is to it. Ha ha ha. You're the same as ever, dear brother. But I'm sure the princess would appreciate a kind word or two from you for a change. Bah. Esther. If you have time to waste on such useless gossip, why don't you spend it on your training? I went through all the trouble of convincing father for you to let you tr for you to let you train as a knight. Not once have you taken your responsibilities seriously. One day I'll return to Birch. I won't be able to protect you anymore. Never ask you to protect me. Oomph. Wait, Esther. Raffin. You mustn't be so casual with her. You don't need the knights to start gossiping about Lady Esther and her foster brother. Yes, father. I will choose my words more carefully. Port Sara. <coughs> I see. Then Lord Grammard. Yes. He was burned to death by the terror of Mosa. My father worked, tried so hard to end the war with Canaan and the Empire. When there was finally hope of a treaty in Nol Syria, he was overjoyed and headed over at once. But the Empire had somehow resurrected back the Holy Dragon Mosa. My father was reduced to ash along with thousands of other innocent people by the dragon's breath. I'm sorry. He was so kind. Sasha. Lord Gramud used to visit Welt very frequently. <coughs> he cared for me like his own daughter. The last time we met, he even offered me to go to visit Brasilia. Lord Gramud was very fond of you, Lady Sasha. He always dreamed of welcoming you to Brasilia as Lord Runan's queen. He was sorely disappointed that you could not, though, since you are the only heir to the throne of Welt. Is that true, Eugen? They have no plans to take the throne. My father would never have wished as much. Lord Gramud should have told me. Well, then, Lady Sasha, say you come to Resilia with us. What? Eugen, let's get going. Ah, yes, of course, my lord. So we have like an over map. We can move, but we are forced to move to certain areas uh, in the story using Runan's army. And we play the other guy uh, uh, that I don't remember the name of. Uh, then, then we can move to any place we want later in the game. Okay, manage item order city armor vendor. Could go to the armor. Welcome to the armory. Here's what we've got to offer. Slim sword. 353, we don't really need that. Now we will exit. Thank you, come again. Vendor. Hello, welcome to my shop. What will, would you like? Fuck. Uh, we don't have the gold to buy it. We already have the shield. Okay. St 
status Ruinans army So yeah, Ruinan himself And then we have Veltese Knight Kate Princess Sasha We have Grace, the Resilient Knight And the Resilient Knight Arcus And we have the Granada Pirate Garrow Okay, let's move We can only move to this area, Castle and you, 8 units there Veria, we'll move to Veria Castle Veria Princess Sasha, we have been expecting you. Raven, why didn't you come to my aid? I barely escaped from the palace with my life. I thought you would be there for me, but no, you just left me on my own. Forgive me. The report of your escape only came in last night. Came in late last night. I was not prepared for the sudden news. My departure was delayed. A cord hearted. You don't care at all about me, do you, Raven? I trusted you. My humble ap humblest apologies. Don't worry, Rafin. I'm kidding. I just wanted to tease you. I'm not mad at you at all. Sorry. Did I, did I upset you? You've always been so serious and stoic, as if nothing in heaven on, or earth could ever move you. I wanted to see you flustered just once. Apologize if I angered you. Sorry, Rafin. Lady Sasha, would you mind introducing your friend to us? Oh, of course. This is Raven, son of Count Marlon of Veria. Please, follow me. Let us continue this conversation inside. My father has been waiting for you. I see. So that is what happened. I suspected it would be you, Lord Runan. And I hear reports of the flag of Mausa sailing into Port Saura. So, you are here to ask for reinforcements? <coughs> that is correct. The Resilian Knights were among the finest in Reeve. Their numbers had dwindled in the recent string of battles. <coughs> we have no hope of retaking our homeland with only a handful of knights left. And so we decided to seek aid from our close friend and mighty ally of Welt. You flatter us, but surely you must know the sort of chaos our kingdom is in. Now that Chancellor Koda is in charge. Providing troops to you under our current circumstances would be difficult. I completely understand, Count Marlon. However, I believe we may be able to come to an arrangement. Could you tell me more about Koda? Koda is the head of the uh, powerful family whose roots lie in the royal house of General Sutherland himself. He is the Count of Graham, a vast region north of the royal capital of Fort Welt. He is cunning, greedy and vile. The sort of man who would do anything to get his way and stay in power. Why let a man like that run loose? Can you not expel him from the court? As you have likely heard, Welt suffered massive losses in the Battle of Balt six months ago. Koda and many other nobles went against joining the Eastern were against sorry, Koda and many other nobles. We are against joining the Eastern Alliance, arguing that we should seek peace with the Empire. But King Raphael would have none of it, as the Empire joined forces with the dark necromancers of Ek Gerxel. King knew that if the Emperor were not stopped, he would lead the world to ruin. Only brave nobles who were loyal to the King accompanied him to Fort Balt. I see. So now only those disgraceful nobles such as Koda remain. Well, not entirely. I am ashamed to say that I, too, was one of those who stayed behind. <coughs> ah, forgive me. King undoubtedly trusted you to keep watch over Welt in his absence. Is there no way to stop Koda? I tried many times to talk some sense into the man. Not once has he heeded me. Our only choice left is to expel him by force. It's very lacks a sufficient manpower. Our Koda's force is that numerous. Not exceptionally, but the main problem is that the bulk of our troops were lost at Balt, including my elder son. Only those knights under the command of my younger son, Raffin, remain. We would have enough soldiers left to fight Koda. Bandits near Taurus have taken advantage of our diminished numbers and 
done attacking uh, rural villages. As Lord of Veria, it's my foremost duty to protect my people, and as such I cannot spare the troops to deal with Koda. <coughs> I understand. In that case, allow us to assist you with your bandit problem. That way, we may focus our efforts on reclaiming Fort Walt from Koda. Does that sound acceptable to you? I have no objections, of course. However, are you sure you want to involve yourselves in this? You would have it no other way. Very well, Rafin, please accompany this resilience. We can serve as their guide in our lands. Yes, father. I shall go as well. No, Esther. We will stay here. Hold, Raven. As a knight, one must never run from the face of battle. You may go as well, Esther. Prove yourself a worthy daughter of this house. I will, father. Lord Runan, I will be pleased to spare you one more of my best soldiers. Please come this way. Now loading. Lord Runan, these soldiers wish to join you in your quest. However, I ask that you only take one of them, as the rest will be necessary to guard the keep. Okay. They were Maul and General. Don't take him. Then we have Ezekiel, Axe Soldier. And we have Lee, the Bishop. We have Naron. Cavalier and Archer of Graham, Luca, and I kind of want the bishop because it's a healer. Let's speak to him. And you are. <coughs> My name is Lee. I am a bishop in the service of Count Marlon. <coughs> I may be not be handy with a blade. I may not be handy with a blade. <coughs> but I have magical skills to offer. What do you think, Jürgen? Let's see. Bishop Lee, speci bishop Lee specializes in both healing offensive magic. Um, uh, both are abilities that our force currently lacks. However, I cannot expect him to stand at the front lines with a sword in his hand. We'll uh, speak to the others first. Speak to this guy. You're an axe soldier, yes? Pleased to meet you, Lord Runan. I'm Ezekiel, frontline combat expert. What do you think, Jürgen? Let's see. Sir Ezekiel specializes in the axe. His attacks are powerful, albeit lacking in accuracy. He's strong and above all experienced. He would immediately be a valuable asset. Choose someone else. You already have an axe guy, the pirate. Speak to this guy. What's your name? <coughs> I, I'm Naren. I was just knighted last month, but I promise I'll do my best. Please, Lord Runan, let me accompany you. What do you think, Jürgen? Let's see. I appreciate Naren's enthusiasm, but I do not see any particular skill worth noting. Still, maybe, just maybe, it might be a diamond in the rough is needing to be polished. Uh, it might be, it might be possible to make him better. Let's speak to this guy too. You don't look like a soldier. Yes. I am Luca from a village north of Graham. I escaped from Koda's tyranny and fled here to Veria. I am merely a hunter, but please allow me to help you defeat the bandits. Lord Runan, we do not yet have a competent archer among our ranks. Luca's skill with the bow may be just what we need right now. Yeah, we could have used an archer, but I want the healer. They already 
see this and let's skip it. Hughes Lee, I did that in the last um, playthrough as well, where I played without recording. I only played up until we could choose the other person's army. See your choice. Yes, I want Lee. <coughs> Lord Runan, I hear that you're going to bring those bandits to justice. Yes, the villagers in the south are being hit the worst. Things will only get worse for them if you don't act quickly. Rayfin is going with you. Lord Runan, may I accompany you as well? I'm afraid I cannot take you along. Why not? Even Esther is going. After we deal with the bandits, the next step will be liberating Welt. You will have the responsibility of leading the liberation army. For now, you should rest and prepare for the upcoming battles. I must ask you to stay here with Kate until our return. As you wish. Princess Sasha, you needn't worry about Lord Runan. He's a hero of Reeve after all. Such, such a man would never fault a band of simple outlaws. But Raffin... Raffin, there's no time for talking. Taurus is in danger. Lord Runan, he must strike swiftly. Indeed. Should we get going? You ride, everyone. Alright. There's a lot of story. This is a mix between RPG and strategy. Fort Velt. <coughs> what is happening over there? What? The princess still walks free? Yes, I'm afraid so, my lord. Here. You useless idiots! You let her escape to very of all places! <coughs> we have no choice now. We must capture the princess no matter what the cost. Bring me General Eretz. <coughs> Lord Co Coda, you summoned me. General Eretz, Merlin has raised an army in rebellion. Her Majesty the Queen has ordered his execution. Bring me his head, and you shall replace him as Count of Verje. Is that true? Very well, then. The impudent fools won't know what hit them. Wait a minute, General Eretz. Count Marlon is a veteran general of no small renown. His son Rafin is no yoke either. I fought him before, in the Royal Tornies, but not once could I best him. You're going against him, you're on your own. I don't want any part in it. You're out of line, soldier. How dare you embarrass me in front of the Lord Chancellor? <coughs> We're Knights of Welt, General Eretz, at the Chancellor's personal lackeys. Why should we be listening to him? What are you implying? I told you, the Queen herself has ordered this attack. Then bring her here. I'll ask her myself. Queen has been ill from shock after the rebels made off with the princess. No one is allowed near her quarters. Then what are your soldiers doing keeping watch in front of her door? If you ask me, it looks like you're keeping her prisoner. Bah! Such insolence! You! You're with those rebels, aren't you? Guards, seize this traitor and throw him into the dungeon. Oh dear, I am in trouble, aren't I? But let me tell you one thing before I go, your Chancellor and Ch Chancellor Ness. The Knights of Welt are loyal to the King and to the Princess. Only ones who listen to you are your own troops or idiots like Eretz. Do you think you're going to overthrow this kingdom while we sit idly by? I'm afraid you're sorely mistaken. Why you? Guards! Forget the dungeon. Execute this man at once. Um. What's this crime, sir? Think one up yourself, you useless half-wit! Oh, right. Eretz, I'm returning to my own lands. You will first escort me to Graham. Of course, my lord. We can bring you there on the... the uh, of course, my lord, we can bring you there on the way to Veria. So why the sudden decision? I'm returning to gather more of my own men. Cannot trust these capital guards, as you can see. Eretz, let this be a lesson to you. 
If you dare betray me, you can be sure that your wife and children will be the first ones to pay. Loudest caves. Taurus bandits spawned on the map. <laughs> it's time to take care of the bandits now. <laughs> Let's go there. Subduing the bandits. The chapter. And I've done the next chapter too. I've done a f quite a few chapters. I don't remember exactly how many, but I remember this one well. Okay. This is the map. We will be joined by these two. Bart the fighter and Ente shaman. Okay. There is my troops. Should be up here in the corner. These are troops. Yeah, they are our troops. They will move here. Runen, Esther, Raphael, Lee, Grace, Orcus, Garrow. Let's start the battle. They will arrive now. Ah, we can go to the village there and speak to the townspeople too. <coughs> Miss Julia, are you sure you'll be alright? Yes, I must do what I can. She will also join our group. I failed to keep her alive. She's one of the characters that I wanted to keep alive. Okay. She has a... The story is um, continued for each character as long as they are alive and in the party. It's the least I can do in return for what you... you all and Sister Ente did for me. Save my life like you did. <coughs> I won't ask you to change your mind, but please accept this from us. Such a beautiful sword. You'd give a treasure like this to me? Traveling merchant left it behind by mistake some years ago. None of us here have the skill to use it. But I'd be well it'd be well suited for you, Miss Julia. Of course, thank you. No bandits will be a match for me now. She starts in the village. And we have these two as well. <coughs> you alright, Sister Ente? Y yes. You are unbelievable, sister. It's good to help those in need. <coughs> but you, you're taking it all a bit too far. <coughs> you go knocking on a bandit's hideout door all on your own just because there was someone who needed healing there. Ah, she's a healer. So you got the healer anyway, but... Yeah, anyway can't have enough healers. I mean, two healers is better than one. We could have used that archer. <coughs> you go knocking on a bandit's hideout, bandit hideout's door all on your own just because there was someone who needed healing here, there. <coughs> that man was in grave danger. Had I been but a little later, he would not have survived. But once he recovered, he didn't waste any time throwing you into the dungeon. Sounds just like something Yasam would do. Was that his name? Yasam? Yeah, he's the leader of those bandits. That man you saved is the biggest, baddest and cruelest of them all. I'm sorry. Still, I know, I know. Master Eisenbach always says, never overlook a person in need. You must really admire that old man, huh? Yes, the master is wise. He preaches the teachings of Mars, the sacred spirit of water. You're really something, Lady Ente. You're not that much older than my little sister, but you're nothing like her. You're major and you're considerate. Fear nothing, seek nothing in return. How can you be so strong? I'm not strong at all. I'm just... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to put you on the spot. No. It's quite alright, if you say so. Crap, we can't be sitting here talking. The bandits will catch us too. The bandits will catch up with us. Stay behind me, Lady Ente. An open valley like this 
is nowhere for us to hide. One wrong move, and we'll be caught. Lord Runan, that is the village of Taurus, used to the south. The bandit's hideout is to the east. How is the village doing? Seems to be safe for now. How can you tell? Because it's still standing. And those bandits attack, they pillage and burn, raising villages to the ground. They leave nothing behind. How cruel. Then I suppose you want us to show them no mercy in return. Of course. We shall deal them the only just punishment that exists in this world. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. And if they surrender, do you still want to kill them? Even if we choose not to, the villagers most certainly will. If their homes destroyed and their kinsmen murdered, a simple apology will not suffice. Besides, the bandits will never surrender. They know that the only thing that awaits them is death. There's no easy way out, is there? My good sir Runan, these are harsh lands where people are desperate to scrape up a living. The people here lead hard, hard lives from dawn till dusk. And there is a shortage of food, men resort to banditry to feed their families. Those who have had their villages destroyed also become bandits. And we have to protect the village to prevent that vicious cycle. Alright, we'll send the f faster cavalry units to the village first. We'll head for the bandit's base after we secure the village. Play turn 1. Of course we'll send the cavalry towards the village. Wait. I forgot to move that girl in the village, the one with green clothes, Julia. We'll do that next time. Let's wait there, the priest, all ruin and behind him. The, this cavalry, this city. Bandits have recently moved into their old fort to the east. They wouldn't be able to do much harm if they didn't have that base. Here, I'll give you one of my special medicine remedies, 
So go do something about them, will ya? Angelic potion obtained. Nice. This guy down there. Let's wait. This guy could move here. I will attack. This bandit. Bandit rogue. Slim sword versus knight Orcus. Right. We'll move over there and attack that guy. The iron sword. Can attack the same guy, I think. So he's killed. Trace. Cavalier. The iron sword. Kill that bandit. Gain some experience. Points. Money bag obtained. Nice. This guy will have to move to the front. It's the least important one. And then Lord Runan himself will keep the healer behind them. This girl will move up. Right there. This guy can attack with his iron axe. Got this bandit, we have Bart's here. Same name as the hero in Final Fantasy V, by the way. Bart's fighter using an iron axe. Looked similar to similar hairstyle and body, at least on this picture. This way more uh, um, fat. Move her up, wait there. She's next to the protector Bart's. We don't want these guys to move up and kill her. We're done. End turn. Enemy turn 3. They attack the girl, Yulia. Try to keep her alive in the previous attempted playing this game. I failed, she died. I'll try again this time. Lord Runan will move over here. And wait. And then we'll move this guy too. And wait there. This guy can move behind. And we will let this knight go into this home and visit. I beg of you, please rescue Sister Ente. She came all the way here from the Temple of Mars to care for our sick and wounded. She even saved my brother's life when he was dying from a venomous snake bite. If anyone ever needs help, then Sister Ente is the first to lend a hand, no matter who it is. But I never imagined she'd trust the words of a bandit. My brother went to rescue her, then still worried. If only we were able to fight and I could help out in times like this. Please, save Sister Ente from the Taurus bandits. Okay, see some story bits there, we'll go to this place now. Visit this house too. Ah, the old man. Ah, you must be knights from Veria. You were wondering when you'd arrive. I beg of you, please help Sister Ente. She's being held captive by bandits. We'll move down here. Check this area too. It's an armor, so it's hot. We have 840. We don't have a lot of money. They have an axe, a hammer and an iron bow, but we do not have the money. Okay, we could sell stuff, but I, I won't, won't do that right now. Okay. Then we will just 
wait. Then we'll charge this bandit and attack. It craze. This battle against bandits will be easy to survive. I believe I lost uh, a few of our heroes in, in another mission where we were in a forest and there were really strong enemies. Okay, Runan will move down there. Yeah, we can't move them anymore this time. <laughs> Lady Ente will move down if that's the case. Let's wait there. He will take the lead. We'll wait there. This girl. Let's attack the skimmer. Attack the bandit that attacked us. Lady Julia. Right. Didn't die it yeah. Now it's time to end the turn. End my turn four. <coughs> This episode will be pretty long because I want to replay everything that I had played previously and that was a lot. Well, at least three hours or something. We'll see. And it's inside the village now. They get reinforcements too. Right. Let's attack Lord Runen. This bandit over here. We'll attack the same guy or the other guy. With that barbarian guy. We'll attack the same guy with this guy. So he won't move past Rune and attack the priest. <coughs> Garo, the pirate. He's a similar guy to those guys. Carrying an axe and he's a big guy. Attack this uh, bandit in the night. <coughs> night craze, cavalier. I really like this game. If you like strategy and RPG games and you like anime manga then you should try this game, Tearing Saga for the PlayStation 1. I'm using the EPSXE PlayStation 1 emulator here to play it. Also, if you like this game you should play the Fire Emblem games too because they are made by the same guy, the same creator. They have the same art style, the same style of battles and everything. The graphics are slightly worse. Unfortunately. And later, um, Fire Emblem games. Uh, yeah, Fire Emblem. I might have said Dragon Quest. But if uh, later Fire Emblem games, um, they are not made by the same guy. But the first five are made by the same guy as this game. So if you like this game, you should play the first five uh, Fire Emblem games too. Which are Nintendo and Super Nintendo games. Some of them are on Game Boy Advance, I believe, and other consoles. I believe they were ports to the Game Boy Color and the Game Boy Advance. At least the Game Boy Advance has a lot of Fire Emblem mods and such hacks. Okay, let's attack this guy. But I don't think the graphics were as good in the Fire Emblem games. Looks better in battle in this one. Here and attack this guy. Raffin. Good. 
out that rebel. You already used <coughs> Resilient Knight Orcus. This is Burgess Knight Raven, okay. This is red haired girl, Yulia. This is Bishop of Varia, Lee. Cleric of Mars, Ente. And local woodcutter, Bartz. Okay. <clears throat> I think we could move. Uh, No, if we should move this guy back. Wait there, and then move this girl towards the village. Then move this girl. Move her over there and attack. So the girl has almost died, we need to retreat with her the next time. So don't really want her to die. Red haired girl, Julia, Myrmidon, level 1. Didn't know that she was almost dead. Can't move anymore this time. We'll End the turn. Enemy turn five. <coughs> so the enemy in this um, on this stage will not move much. Oh shit! They had those guys. I forgot about them. Then we need to move down that other guy to defend Lady Ente, Cleric of Mars. Move Lord Runan to face the enemy. Same with this guy. Put this guy behind. Okay, we'll move her down and speak to Lord Runen. <coughs> Are you the cleric the villagers were talking about? Oh. Ah. Uh, oh, um, yes. I'm Ente, a priestess of Mars. I see. Well met then, Lady Ente. I am Runan of Resilia, here to assist the Knights of Verje on their mission to subdue the bandits in this area. The villagers of Taurus are very worried for your safety, Lady Ente. You should return to them. R right. Erm, um, Lord Runan. Yes, my lady. Was there something you needed? Uh, not really. I was just wondering why you were... Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. Hey, come again. It's not important. Forgive me. I will return to the village. Thank you, Lord Runen. We will heal uh, Lady Julia with uh, end later. I will move this guy down. Need to move the cavalry. I don't want that guy to kill Julia. So we need to attack him with this knight. Good. Took him out in one attack. Because when they die in this game, it's uh, they are dead forever. But you don't get the game over unless the two main heroes die. Let's move the Cavalry. And these knights could also move. Kind 
of want to move her up towards the priestess cleric. I think she was a priestess too. Okay. Let's end turn. Enemy turn six. Jesus, he's attacking and uh, not good. He missed, good. He dodged the attack. Perfect. placed Lord Runen too uh, close to the enemy so she had to stand there to be able to speak to him. He'll obviously move her back now. Staff save. She can save the game. Interesting. I didn't know that. Then she's important. As her character can save the game in the middle of a battle. They don't have to restart from scratch. Interesting. So wait there. Attack this guy who tried to attack the priestess. Lord Runen will attack the bandit. Right. And some stats. Strings and other stuff. Let's move down. Kill the bandit with this guy. He wants vengeance for the attack against the cleric. Watch the fighter using his iron axe. Fuck, he missed. Ah, we won. Good. And some experience. Then we have the pirate. We move him over there. And attack this bandit again. Attack and he's done for. Alright, good. Then we are knights. We will certainly attack. With Crace, the cavalier. Brazilian knight, Crace. The other knights will start to move. Wait there, they're too far away. Okay, we're done. I think we have uh, this healer. Heal. We will heal. Lady Julia. Oh, she got full health. Perfect. It's very useful that guy. Just needed to stand next to her to be able to use healing on her. We are done. We need to end the turn. End my turn seven. Pirate is under attack by the rogue bandit. All right. Another bandit mood. Another one. They are numerous, but they are not very good. We just attack. Same bandit. He will be done for now. One attack. That health points up and strengths up. Lord Rune and we will not move him yet. We'll move uh, this guy and attack this guy. Bards do not have that much health. Uh. They took him out. Perfect. Need to retreat it. Bards is almost done for. 
that's there. Need to take him out. Need to take Lord Ruden. Handle 
kill that guy that's far away. Let's wait with that guy over there. Move Julia. Here she will speak to Lord Runan. <coughs> Are you a mercenary? Are you hired by the villagers? Yeah, I'm a mercenary. But I don't take money from poor farmers. I owe them a favor, that's all. I'm Julia, thanks for asking. And you have my thanks, Julia. The village was saved largely due to your brave efforts. No thank you. Your knights of very right? Sure took your sweet time making your way here. You are knights of Resilia, here to assist the soldiers of area. We came as fast as we could, master. But, hmm, sure you did. Isn't it the Lord's duty to protect his villages? All you do is, is reap taxes and do nothing in return. It bet we'd be better off without your knights at all. You have a point. I'll apologize to the villagers myself. Wait, really? All the nobles I've ever met just sat around eating themselves full of the toil of the serfs, of their serfs. You're not even from where yet. You're still going to apologize. Who are you? Runan, heir to the Duchy of Rasilia. What? You're the ones who almost held off the Empire at Granada. I'm surprised you're still alive. Yes, well, you're the lucky ones. Oh, you look upset. I'm sorry, was that a touchy subject? It's fine, forget it. Anyway, you seem to be a rather experienced, a rather experienced warrior. Not particularly. I've only been doing Markner work for about half a year. But I do have confidence in my sword arm. My father taught me swordplay ever since I was a little girl. He was, oh, sorry. This isn't the time for reminiscing, is it? You seem to be nice to enough, Lord Renan. How would you like to hire me? I'd be glad to have you, but why do you want to join us? You're going back to reclaim Resilia eventually, aren't you? I got my own business to take care of there too, but I can't go back until the Empire's been cleared out. It's a rather personal matter. That's fine with me, I won't pry. You're hired, Julia. Thanks. Just keep me well fed, and I won't complain what you pay me. See you around, Lord Renan. Let's move him up. Wait there. Staff will heal. This, uh, Bart's, or whatever he's named. Yeah, Bart's the fighter. will heal him. Bishop Lee. Got almost full health now. Good. Him, of course, we'll move the uh, parts towards the enemy. And we'll move the cavalry up to. This cavalry can move this way instead. This one this way. This cavalry can't move, we are done. No, we need to move. Um, and uh, shaman, cleric, or priestess. Let's wait there. Now we're done. Enemy turn 10. Of course, Lord Runan is under attack. He might die if you're unlucky. He needs to retreat. Over there, that's fine. Raffin is under attack. I took out the bandit easily. Very good. He's better than the other cavalry. And some stat points. Let's uh, retreat with Lord Ruinen. Move 
down Raph in here and attack the bandit immediately. Raph in the bronze paladin. She's a paladin, not just a knight. That's why he's stronger. Took out the bandit easily. Okay, and then we'll move this guy. Pirate. You can throw axes from afar. Oh, there is a text. He's the leader of the bandits. Don't think you're gonna make it out of this alive. Missed. Guess we can't take him out that easily. Oh, hello, dear. Oh, but, dear. There. And the Brazilian Knight Craze will move up this way. This Knight will move up this way. It's too long, too far away to move another way. Move the Bishop Lee too. And the Ente will enter the inner city. Don't need to save, let's wait. We're done and turn. Play it turn 12. Enemy didn't move. We will throw axes at him with this guy. Again. Ah, oh, we missed again. Yes, and do dodge the attack. So the Bandit leaders named Jason. Let's attack him. The steel sword. Wrath in the bronze paladin will get the honor. Shit, he's almost dead. Need to retreat with him now. Are you? You look like you're going to have troubles finger your lands with those thin arms of yours. <coughs> I most certainly do not need a guard. Besides, I'd be better off without a complete novice like you as a bodyguard. Well, aren't you quick witted? I like that. I'm Arceus from Acelia. Ah, so when we play certain characters but, uh, next to each other, they can speak to each other sometimes. I'm Arceus from Acelia. What's your name? Can't believe an airhead like you is serving under that calm and collected Lord Runan. Why do you want to know my name? That was a pickup line, then I'm afraid I've heard far better. Haha, <laughs> don't be ridiculous. What's wrong with wanting to know your fellow soldiers? I may still be new, but this is my 17th battle. I've seen hundreds of my comrades fall in battle. I remember all of their la names. They were all my precious companions. But fine, if you're that to post it, I won't pry. It's just one less name that I have to memorize. Hundreds? What's the matter? You look pale. Don't tell me my story scared you. Uh, why would I be? Alright, fine. I'll tell you my name. I'm Esther, daughter of Count Marlon. But I won't ask you to remember me. Esther. What a lovely name. 
be sure to remember it. See you around, Lester. <coughs> Need to move the priest is up. For the bishop. Physic. Does that even do? He is a far away ally by magic. Ah, oh, that's great. I know exactly which one. Rathian, of course. Didn't know he had this ability. Didn't remember. Good. Full health. Perfect. I was almost gonna die there. If he had been attacked the next turn. Alright, I will move this girl to visit the house with the old man. Sister Esther, we are worried sick when we hear that the bandits got a hold of you. Thank goodness you are safe. <coughs> yes, I was able to return safely thanks to Bart's. Forgive me for causing you worry. My foolish grandson was able to help you, huh? Ha, ah, I'm honored. Now, I'm sure you're exhausted. Here, have some fruit. You'll feel better in no time. Ah, we got the fruit. It's a reward. Bring her there. Now we will end the turn. Yes, I will certainly attack. Enemy turn 12. He attacked Rayfin, but he has full health now, so it's fine. Bronze Paladin. Much health. Uh, we need to heal. Uh, uh, Ronan, he's almost dead too. It was worth it to get this guy. He can heal from afar. Unlike S, S, uh, unlike the girl, she can staff. She can save the game, which is <coughs> even more important. I believe she is not allowed to die, and Runan is not allowed to die, and that guy with orange hair, the pirate, is not allowed to die either. Everyone else, I think, is allowed to die. Back, wait there. I want Runan to take over the bandit's head. So we'll attack the bandit with Runan himself, Lord Runan. Look, that attack and attack again, and we won. Perfect. Ugh! Damn it all! But now I think we need to move here, which we can't do this time. Now we need to wait one turn. Let's end the turn then. Edmonton 13. We'll move there and capture their base. <coughs> it looks like the bandits have fled. Taurus Mountains are riddled with caves. That is likely where they have fled. It's getting dark. Chasing them any further would be dangerous. Well, we've struck them hard enough that they'll be laying low for a while. That will have to surface for now. You're right. We should return to Veria. One more thing, Lord Runan. But Sister Enta. Yes. She said she said she would be returning to the Temple of Mars, but going alone would be dangerous. We have convinced her to stay under our army's protection for the time being. That's a good idea. 
Getting ambushed while out on her own would be the last thing she needs. By the way, Lord Runen, Sister Ente is quite a beauty. I can say with confidence that she is the most beautiful lady I have ever seen in my 60 years of life. Really? I haven't really thought about it. My goodness, I hadn't really thought about it. Uh, my goodness, Lord Runen, you must make an effort to better understand women. When you take rule of Resilia, you will welcome a fine lady into the palace as your wife. Whether it be Lady Sasha or Sister Ente, being oblivious will not win you any prizes, my lord. <coughs> this isn't the time to be talking about such nonsense, Yugen. We're going back to Veria. Yes, sire. Now the enemy will move on the map. The Veria there. Maybe we will reach it first. <coughs> ah, story. There you are, Lady Sasha. Are you waiting for Lord Runan to return? Yes. Say, Kate. You think Lord Runan and his knights will be alright? Sir Raffin is with them, my lady. There's no need to worry. Now then, Lady Sasha. Let's go back indoors. We'll catch cold out here. Kate. I want you to stay with me always. You won't leave me, will you? Uh, what? I mean, of course, Lady Sasha. Yeah, he moved. And now it's time for us to move. We can only move to Castle Veria. We go back there. Veria. Welcome back, Lord Runan. Sasha! <coughs> Were you waiting out here for us? Yes. Count Marlon assured me that you would be alright, but I had to see your face for myself. I am back in one piece too, my lady. I'm glad you're safe too, General. Thank you, my lady. Now then, where is Count Marlon? He is waiting for you in the castle. In that case, Lord Runan, we should confer with him at once. Yes, we need to know if Koda has been up to anything while we were away. Sasha, you're probably worried about Queen Lisa, aren't you? Yes, of course. I want to see her as soon as I can. There is no need to worry, Lady Sasha. The Chancellor would never lay a single finger on the Queen. If he harmed her, the entire kingdom would turn against him. You will be sure to rescue your mother, so please be patient. Thank you. I will pray for your success. On my honor as a knight, you will not fail. Now, Lord Ruin, let us go to Camp Marlon. Lord Ruin, we just received word of your victory at Taurus. Very as impressed with your resilient knights. You would never have succeeded without various aid. The resilients need more training. Lord Runan is right. Your very, very, very young, your very young knights are very skilled. Sir Raffin in particular was magnificent to watch. It was like seeing an image of myself in my prime. You must be proud to have such a talented son. Actually, Raffin is not my child. Come again? Raffin is a knight of the now fallen kingdom of Barge. His late father was a good friend of mine. When Barge was conquered five years ago, Raffin came to, uh, came to me seeking asylum. Out of respect of his father, I decided to adopt Raffin as my son. I see. But that's neither here nor there. Let us discuss our current situation. Yes, let's begin. The Koda's forces shown any signs of movement. I received a report that a group of knights is headed this way from the capital. Their numbers are unknown but it is not likely that they form the entirety of Koda's forces. Count Marlon, I think we should take the in initiative. It would be unwise to give Koda time to organize his forces. I agree. The unaligned nobles would also be encouraged to side with Princess Sasha if they see a strike first. Then do we have permission to dispatch troops? Yes. We will begin marching toward Fort Welt on the morrow. 
shall accompany you on this mission. Now, as our final order of business, here's a gift of 10,000 gold. Use it to replenish your equipment and supplies for your troops. Got 10,000, awesome. And Koda's army is moving, or Eritz, probably, or whatever he was called, the general. <coughs> Barrow and Domes, I want you two to lead my troops to Fort Velt. Roger, I shall leave you in charge of defending Graham in my absence. Oh, I see a guy that is named Roger. Roger, I shall leave you in charge of defending Graham in my absence. Yes, my lord. Understood. Can't go there, if I may be so bold. Yes, what is it? Regards, it regards some of the rumors I have heard about you, my lord. They say that you are trying to outthrow the royal family, and that you have placed the queen under house arrest. <coughs> I'm sure it is a misunderstanding, but I wanted to hear the truth from you in person. <coughs> Why do you ask? Would you betray me if the rumors were true? I would never betray you, my lord. However, if you have strayed from the path of good, then it is my duty as your knight to see you back onto it. Ha! The rumors are nothing but filth lies. I am the Chancellor. King Raphael the Go uh, sorry. With King Raphael gone, <coughs> it is my duty to protect this nation and its queen. It would be foolish of the Chancellor to harbor such greedy intentions. Are you trying to insult me? Can you not trust your lord? Forgive me, lord, chancellor. R Roger, do not forget why your family lives in comfort. It's because they have served my house for generations. If you are foolish enough to betray me, your entire family will be held accountable. At best, they will go to the guillotine, or at worst, they will be flayed alive and left for the vultures. I do not wish to sentence your family to such ho a horrible fate, Roger. You must trust me. Yes, sire. My apologies. Then all is well. You are the beloved paladin of wealth. I know that your loyalty is more precious to you than your own life. You can return to Fort Wealth knowing that Graham will be in good hands. Roger, is Count Coda gone? Mel, I told you not to come out. <coughs> I don't want the Chancellor to see you. You look exhausted. What happened? What did he say to you? Talk to me, Roger. Mel, I was born into nobility. Why did I become a paladin? If only I were a commoner, I would be able to live in peace together with you. Roger. Those two have an interesting story. Both of them died in the story and I lost played. I wonder if it's possible to make them to join the good guys. They are on the evil side, but they seem to be good people. <coughs> and uh, I ended up killing both of them in, in my previous play of this part. But I will try to make them join me if it's possible. Okay, we can move now. We'll move to Port Saura. The only place we could go to. Ah, the enemy attacked. Loading. <coughs> ah, this was the difficult battle of Port South, where they had an entire army. I thought it was the previous one, but it wasn't. Chapter 3. I forgot to read the, what the chapter name was. But we are back at the starting location. Items, Runan. Of course, you should have uh, Runa's army weapon. Herb. This girl can heal too. Oh, my weapons, sorry, we need the uh, 
He should have his repair, I see. And uh, heal, save. Kate, Estok, and uh, Bogan. She's a Bogan and an Estok. Picked against armor units. Standard issue, crossbow flying, okay. I see we can uh, move stuff around. Sasha has a slim sword, Yuli has a scimitar and a killing edge. Bars has an iron axe, Esther has a slim lance and a slim sword. Raven has the steel sword and the killer lance. Lee has physic and a magic attack, fire and heal. He can do fire now, he couldn't do that previously. We have Kraze, he has a lot of stuff. Doesn't need all of this stuff. Iron sword, slim sword, javelin, slim lance. I think we'll keep the javelin, the iron sword, the lance. See, the standard is the sword. for 1 hour 35 minutes in the older save, let's check here 2 hours 9 minutes ok, it's already 2 hours it will be pretty long, we probably played over 5 hours previously or I did <coughs> this one is more difficult and they had an entire army here General Eretz, we found enemy. They appear to be a mixed force composed mostly of foot soldiers. Excellent. Our cavalry will make mincemeat of them. Give the order to engage the army with the enemy. I shall give a grand reward to whomever brings me their commander's head. This is your chance to move up in the world, men. Yes, sir. Everything is going smoothly so far. This should be a quick battle. They have way more cavalry than us. <coughs> Lord Runan, a wave of cavalry approaches. Make use of land to defend yourselves. You can hide in the forest to the south. Don't let them break through. Knights, move forward. Lord Runan, clerics should stay in the rear. We'll send any injured troops back to you so you can take care of them. Right. I will draw the enemy toward me. You must protect Princess Sasha. Rafin, no! Lord Runan, please stop him! Hold, Rafin. Sasha is right. No matter how strong you are, charging in all in your own is pointless. Our army's strength relies on all of us fighting together in unison. You will fight in formation like the rest of us. Very well. I will follow your lead commander. Leave the princess to me. I shall lay a finger on her. 
Kate, don't force yourself, alright? You will never be able to face my mother if something happened to you. I'll be alright, Lady Sasha. I promise I'll live to see you reunited with Queen Lisa. So don't worry about me. I believe I failed to have her survive previously. We'll try to have them, them survive. as well and then this cavalry will move to this side and wait there and we're done let's end the turn this is the first real battle in the game enemies have an advantage. Oh, something is happening in the house. <coughs> hey lady, is dinner finished yet? You're not trying to star me, are you? Of course not. Can't have someone starving to death in my own inn, can I? Here, you'll love it. Steak, tartar and, and some soup. Now eat up and leave me alone. Thanks. Man, this looks great. And you were, you were a nice lady. Sis. Soldier bow rider using a bow gun. Of 
Fuck, det är attack. Fuck, jag tänkte inte ha god defense där. Jag tänkte inte att jag skulle rana runt som det. Easter, så jag måste killa dem. De måste behöva spela. Om det är det case, de vill alla rana runt som det. Jag vill ha attack Esther. Hon är redan hört. Easter. Not good. Raven, Bronze Paladin is under attack. It heal the next time. Shit, Esther is dead. Didn't want that. Brother. We still finished the battle. Shit, we lost Enter 2, yeah. We need to replay. This isn't worse than the last time I played. Lord Runan. That's probably game over anyway. Forgive me, Ante. It was not worth it. Protecting you. Try map. Back the way we came. Back the way we came. It's up to three. Port Sara. Favors this time. Some of them managed to do a better job than I played the last time. Okay, let's start the battle immediately. We'll just skip the dialogue now, so we've already read it. We'll just click past it. Skip it. Offensive this time. Waste the ones we do not care about as much this time around. We'll try to always have the important people protected. They do have cavalry advantage. Okay, everyone has full health to start. Can't be allowed to reach the important characters like Ente, so Cavalry will always be placed to protect them. Done, end the turn. 
have finished this mission and then I finish the next one too and probably at least two more. I believe the final one I finished was something with zombies and a dragon. Hail yeah, uh, this we have done this already. Alright, looks better now. I think we will move straight to attack. Slim lands will attack that guy. We will also attack here. They could probably just move back. Die. Oh 
shit. She almost died there. One more attack against her and she's dead. Unfortunately. Fuck! She's dead. Esther died. This is the problem with the game. Rather... them if they die. But I'd hoped they could move her back but they couldn't. Oh that guy is attacking Lord Runan himself. Ram Soldier will throw a javelin or lance. They attack again. The crossbow guy. Shit, Runan is about to die. They get reinforcements. Yeah. <sighs> Lord Runan, it appears we have additional company. Ruffians and horses. Rounding bandits, no doubt. They appear to be headed toward Port Saura. They seem to have no intention to attack us, but we must protect the city. I agree wholeheartedly. Hugen, tell the troops to make sure Saura remains free of danger. First of all... Um, let's see here, we will uh, of course... With our cavalry. Celian Knight Craze. Do the owners. He blocked and attacked two times nice, but it was not enough to win. And then. We can move the princess. Towards the settlement. This girl, let's wait. Okay. And we will attack. It's night. Raff in the bronze paladin. Out into it. So Esther wasn't that the sister of this guy. He's pissed at them, for sure. I think he will uh, move back. Wait there. Good, we took him out. Perfect. Don't want him to wait. Dangerous. We'll attack this guy for sure. Parts. Good, we took him out. So, Runan is almost dead. She 
males. Need to move there. Use the staff. Heal rune. Listen up, because what I'm about to say is, is, is important. Even if they train to their peak, some of your soldiers just won't be as good as other ones. Especially the ones who already got quite a few years under their belt. They're at a disadvantage to the younger, nimbler kids. However, there's one way to get around this handicap, and that's with one of these occult books. <coughs> the books were, uh, words themselves are nothing special. But after you read it, you'll be a new man. You'll be able to push yourself just as hard as one of those young kids are able to. Use it wisely. Ah, we got the occult book obtained. Nice. Items. Girl into the settlement too. I move this girl there. Wait there. I move Runan there to protect. Move the cavalry. Protect that flank. We will of course attack this knight with this other knight Brazilian knight Grace, the cavalier he failed to take him out, okay Full health. Alright. Mm, 
this guy. Uh, what shall I see him? Uh, we will move him to defend the bishop over there. Items, no items. Unit. Runen. Unit. Let's just end the turn. Treating for some reason, she could have probably kept kept Esther alive. They had kept her out of battle until they started to retreat and stuff. Too bad. I really wanted to keep her alive, but I don't want to restart again. <laughs> Move Rubinan in here. Visit the house. Here that the queen has been secluding herself in her chamber. Koda says that it's because Count Marlon took the princess hostage and started a rebellion. Rumor has it that the Queen is actually being kept prisoner for trying to stop Coda. I'm ashamed of myself for slandering the Queen without knowing anything. Here, this is a magical potion that will make you luckier. I'll give it to you, so please help Queen Lisa. Got this potion obtained. Items. Dispatching his troops, but not as the very army, the Welt Lib Liberation Army. I'm sure the Liberation Army is in, ri in the right, but I can't help but shudder when I think how many lives will be lost in this war. Pray that Welt will soon be free of warfare. Oh, please wait. This used to belong to my grandfather. It's a lance that will penetrate even the strongest trees. Doesn't look any different from a normal lance to me. Maybe in your hands. As we got an iron lance. Nice. Move the princess here and we sit. Hello there. Are you looking for a room? Oh, you're not a customer. You're honest and cheap, so I would expect more business, you know. <laughs> Other than lookers like you, the only guests we seem to get are people who can't even pay, like that guy over there. Hmm. But that guy, well, he said he was on the ship from Granada that sailed in here the other day. He claims that the Lord of Roselia is gonna pay for him, but I'll believe it when I see it. I really need to do something about that freeloader. Vendor. 
Hello, welcome to my shop. There are a lot of money now. Um, yep. The iron sword and the repair. Use goddess potion. Right now we don't need that. My naval academy, Ahim again. Here I train soldiers in the art of fighting on the sea, high seas. Pirates are everywhere. Have you ever read this already? Hmm. Look like a good fighter. Interested in learning the ways of fighting at sea? Alright, teach me. Alright, to fight effectively on the water. Congratulations, soldier. You may now call yourself a fully fledged seafarer. You'll be a force to be reckoned with on the high seas. Use your new skills to knock some sense into the, those pirating goons. Seafarer skill learned. Nice. We got a new skill. Oh, this girl to armor. Welcome to the armor. Let's buy something here. We already have a skimmer and a killing edge. Let's get three. My three. Sell. Skimmer. It's the stats. Hit 60, might 7. We have better weapons. Doesn't need anything there. Here and we set this in. <coughs> Are you from the Liberation Army? Koda's tyranny is getting worse by the day. Our, our only hope now. Ah, I know. Here, take this. It's a family heirloom, but I'm no knight. You might find some use for it. Knight crest obtained. Okay. Can't do anything more there this time. Princess. Can't really do much with her. We we'll move into this house now and visit. After hearing about Count Marlon's Liberation Army, even Koda's own men have started rooting for you guys. For good reason too. That Koda is nothing more than a common thief. He steals as much wealth as he can from his people to line his own pockets. I'm on your side too. Good luck. I know I'll give you this. He's got a technique of how to not tire out your horse after charging at enemy. Hope you make good use of it. Can't a scroll obtained. Nice. Okay, we don't need to visit. Item use. Book will, book will be used. We'll do that. Level limit 1 or 10 or whatever. 
Okay, got some stuff there. Nice. Item. She doesn't have any unique item. We could move her. But there. Right there. Done and turn. Oh, we attack bards. Good that we heal, heal them. Princess up. This guy, Lord Runan, can move there. Will heal. Staff, physic. Yeah, will heal Bards. Turn. They will attack Kate for sure. Play the Kate. No, they will draw. They will attack with someone with that one. No, they didn't. Okay. And I think we'll withdraw with Kate from the bridge. Wait right there. We'll move down with the cavalry and attack. I don't want to 
attack bard, so we can move him down. They will have to attack. They will, of course, heal. We can't heal this time. Okay, let's just end the turn. Yeah, it was important to move everyone into the village. It's much easier to defend from there. Thanks to the bridge. We will attack again. With Craze. health again. Attack this guy again. Trace. Sure. Okay, did I buy 
by more than one field. Lands. Now I hope we will be able to kill them. Raffin, the bronze paladin, is stronger. We would kill them. Need a strong guy there. The front. We got a leather shield. So we're killing that guy. Raven. 
It wasn't that damaged, but we still want him at full health. change when you are fighting on, the, on different areas. For example on the bridge it will be a bridge etc etc. It looks very good. Mana obtained. Mana bag obtained. Okay. Okay nice. We'll move this knight out and attack. Praise will attack. them. We got some points. I thought I had more than to have, have two knights. I have Rafe in the Bronze Paladin and I have Grace the Cavalier. They thought I had uh, more than that. Grace didn't have full health, what the fuck? Should have help heal them. We'll do that the next time. Forgot to check that, we'll heal him now. Now oh, he's full health again, good. Hopefully the only one we will lose in this battle is Esther. No one else. And 
turn. Wait. We'll heal that guy. Again. Crate will be healed. You're braver in facing me, but you are no match for my lance. Oof, he's really good now. You really managed to level him up. Lord Chancellor, I fought to death. Do not harm my family. He's really good now, that guy. I didn't understand how items worked in this game when I played it last time. So, so I believe all my crew are stronger now. It's the frame with Esther. Victor at last. Our tactical strategy has prevailed. It was a fine battle, Lord Runan. The enemy commander fought valiantly, even to his death. Perhaps Koda's troops have higher morale than we expected. <coughs> the commander's name was Eretz. He was only an average knight. His fierce determination was likely only out of fear of Koda. Fear of Koda? What do you mean? Koda takes his tro troops' families as hostages to ensure loyalty. That's vile. Then, Eretz. <coughs> we could. Uh, no, Eris' fate was his decision. He was the one who decided to fight for Koda instead of against him. <coughs> Lord Runan, our enemies! Personal matters are of no importance to us. We must not let such things cloud your judgment. Those who would arm themselves and stand against us cannot be shown mercy. <coughs> Just as we cannot expect mercy from them. Now let us hurry. He must be off before nightfall. I almost want to replay everything because Esther died. I don't know. Port Saura. There is. Fought the battle. Koda's realm, Ram, lies to the southeast of Port Saura. <coughs> its main line of defense, Fort Graham, will be a challenging point to take due to the natural protection the thick forest surrounding it. I was hoping to go to the Temple of Mars and ask for Master Eisenbach's aid. But... The Temple of Mars? Beyond Graham lies an ancient temple dedicated to Mars, god of wind and water, built long before the Kingdom of Welt was established. Master Eisenbach was once counted among the four great sages. He has deep, unclouded wisdom and the power to bend the laws of nature itself. It is said that the Master has watched over Liberia for decades, ensuring that nothing disastrous happens. Even Koda would be hesitant to send troops to the Temple of Mars. Mas Master Eisenbach. Okay. <coughs> Grace, there's Lord Runan. Is, uh, that's the guy that I that we're missing. He stayed, I think, behind. He's having a meeting with Count Marlon. <coughs> Figuring out the attack plans, huh? Sure he's taking his sweet time. What's the matter? You seem to be in a bad mood. Of course I am. We haven't forgotten. Our homeland has still been conquered. What are we doing? Wasting our time in a place like this? We're not wasting time. You don't have the power to face the Empire now. We need Velst's aid, so we have to help with their problems first. 
Why are you so calm? Aren't you worried about Lina? She's a strong girl. Can't say I'm not worried, but she can take care of herself. How's a little girl going to defend herself against those barbaric soldiers? <coughs> I'm telling you, she's not safe. Orcus. Lina said she wanted to stay. But I knew I should have forced her to come with us. I would have if only you hadn't come so opposed to it. And I would have if only you hadn't been so opposed to it. Saving your family but leaving the rest of your people to the mercy of the Empire. Such selfishness would be shameful to the Knights of Resilia. Look, Argus. She's my sister. I worry about her every day. But first and foremost, we are Knights of Resilia. Right now, all we can do is have faith in Lord Runan. He, Garo. What are you doing here? Nothing really. Such a nice sea breeze. Mind if I talk to you for a bit? Uh, yeah. I was born on a small island off the coast. You're a sailor, right? Ever been to an island called Yer? No. Never heard of it. About 15 years ago, when most of the men were off doing mercenary work abroad, the island was attacked by pirates. They rampaged through our village, showing no mercy to anyone. I hid under my bed. They found me and dragged me out into the open. I knew they were going to kill me. Like a rabbit caught in a trap. They hit me hard on the head, but then a man suddenly ran over yelling stop. That's when I passed out. When I came to, the man was standing in front of me drenched in blood. The pirates were dead at his feet. He smiled and gave me a nod. Then he ran off without a word. I heard later that Admiral Val's men had come to save us from the pirates. They never found out what happened to the man who saved me. You worked for the Admiral, right? Do you know? Sorry, I don't. I, I wasn't on that mission. Is that so? I do remember one thing about that man. He was hurt badly when he saved me. There was a huge gash running straight down his forehead, so deep I couldn't believe he was still alive. Garo. Ah, it was Garo. Temple of Mars. Something is happening over there. Sylphis has entered not yet returned. She is currently in Saura, with, un uh, with under the protection of various knights. She should be returning soon. I see. Father, you don't look well. Is something the matter? Something foul is stirring. So it's you, Gwen Chaos. You finally made your move. What? Then we must warn Sister Ente. Yes. Selfies, call Myrtle here for me. Y yes, at once. I am here, Master Eisenbach. What is it you need me for? Empty is a gra in grave danger. Fly as fast as you can to various army and bring her back here. We must leave this island. We must leave this land at once. Understood, Master. Forest thieves. Uh, we are about to go there, I think. Manage item. Runan. Yaris potion. What does it do? Boosts LCK by 3. Let's use it. This to neg uh, negates one fatal attack. Okay, we want that too for him. Or maybe we don't. I actually want Ente to have that. So that if they kill. 
kill her. She will have a chance at surviving one more turn. Slim sword. This is Sasha. She doesn't have a shield. It's not good. So Gara has the leather shield. Brazilian Knight Arcus doesn't have it. Brazilian Knight Craze doesn't have it. Bishop of Verde doesn't have it. And Burgess Knight Refn doesn't have it. Most people doesn't have it. Do not have the money to give it to everyone either. Prepare the troops prior to doing anything else. I like that. Let's buy leather shield. Oh, we can change the character too. I didn't know that. We don't have the money. Might need to sell something. Good, we can do this. I didn't know that. Maybe it's just possible on the map. Uh, save, heal. She should be able to heal, but I didn't see that when I had her selected in the battle. Okay. Oh, gun. Boost health points. 
Okay, Rayfield doesn't need that. Okay, Master Potion boosts. Uh, let's move that too. Now, Ronan. What the herb? Killing potion, boost health points. Boost MST. He could use the leather shield for sure. Potion boosts luck by three. Then move it out. Heals ten health points, herb. Okay, can't a scroll in the mood here. We're done. City vendor. We'll sell some stuff. Hello, welcome to my shop. Sell the Money bags if you can. Yes. Is there anything else? Obviously sell that and two. Yes. Nothing else. I do want to buy some stuff now. Let's buy a new leather shield. We can buy another one too. We can buy three actually. And then we can buy some herbs. Nothing else. Thank you. I will manage again items. Okay, it certainly needs. Ah, fuck that. Uh, so, uh, leather shield, leather shield, leather shield, leather shield. The three leather shields here. He doesn't need that. 
most of these swap. Kate will suddenly get shield. Local woodcutter parts. Police knight Raffin. Bishop of Varia. I want him to be a bit protected. Boost luck. Let's add it to the bishop. Or maybe not. The goddess potion can be added to a knight instead. Okay. Now we're done. Save the game. So in the first save we played for 1 hour 35 minutes. Second we save the uh, played for 2 hours uh, 9 minutes. I will save again. 3 hours and 4 minutes because we had to replace that. Okay. So we played for over 3 hours now. So I had played all of this previously and played a bit more but I, I don't want the, the videos to be too long either so maybe we should end the first part here and then I will upload uh, the second part as soon as possible because I want to play everything tonight that I did the last time so I have finished the next episode and then I finished an episode in the Temple of Mars and then I finished something else I believe I finished everything until Ronan meets his friend again, so everything on this continent, I, I met where we start moving to other continents. I believe Ronan will take his ship and move to another continent, uh, and the other guy, the pirate, will uh, move to the other, to another area, to another ship. Uh, but the point is that uh, everything in the, on this air has been finished. So I played for three hours now. Alright, this is the temple, we can't move there, move. we can only move to one location, okay, but I think we will end here, the first episode is at 3 hours, check again, so, I'm still not happy that this guy this girl died. Uh, okay, we could uh, replay this, of course. We only have five saves, so we will need to re overwrite stuff uh, later. Okay. So this girl, Esther, died. Female knight. And this is crazy, he's still alive. This is the save prior to the bath we just fought. Could try and replay it, maybe. And try to keep Esther alive. Um, I may do that, we'll see, we have saved this save now, 324, Port Saura, I will end it here, see you in the next episode, bye.